Hello, this is still not Arnie, back with another custom ROM review. This time I will take a closer look at the Vanir ROM. The ROM looks and feels a lot like Slimbean, even though it doesn't have its unique SlimPy feature. If you wanna know how it compares otherwise to Slimbean and other competitors, be sure to watch the rest of the review. So let's check first what good things it has to offer. Good news for all the Pi and Halo fans, don't worry, both things are here and working as expected. But that's far from all. You also get the app bar invented by Chameleon OS, which is in my opinion a poor and extremely limited AOKP ribbon knockoff. But being as it is, some people like it and the few things it offers work pretty well, but don't expect too much functionality or customizability of it. The rest in the Vanir customization is pretty much advanced standard. I mean things like UI mode that lets you choose between phone, tablet and tablet mode. Otherwise there's not that much else worth talking about. You can check the rest of the available features in my custom ROM database. But presumably being based on Slimbean not all the customization happens solely in the Vanir customizations but also in the standard options like for example display. There we'll find active display known by the Moto X that's especially handy for AMOLED displays. Another feature I like very much that can be found here is the animation controls. I already have shown this feature in my previous ROM reviews, but Vanir did some things different here. I am not sure if that's also integrated in the way Vanir does it in Slimbean, but in Vanir's case they also put in the list view animations into the animation controls and also did one little but very nice change in the animation controls. If you already know the animation controls, you have probably already spotted it. It's a new option called custom scrolling duration that lets you even customize the duration of the list view animation scrolling speed. It's nothing really big but still nice to see something new here. Enough talk about the good stuff, let's check the darker side of this ROM. What is wrong or what is maybe missing? To be quite fair, there's not really much wrong with the ROM itself. Yes, as always I'm mentioning I'm missing the hybrid engine, but as always I'm telling you most of these things missing can easily be included using exposed modules. That's not the issue. I would have still preferred to have seen some more AOKP features which can't be replaced with exposed. This means no ribbons and also no AOKP quick toggles. So not really a ROM for fans of the standard AOKP features. But there's one thing that's quite bugged me that isn't directly related to the ROM itself, it's the ROM support. One important thing that shouldn't be underestimated because it can make quite a difference. While Vanir ran absolutely flawless and stable on my Nexus 7 2012, same things can't be said for the Nexus 7 2014. There I had the annoying issue of the browser crashing about every 10 or 15 minutes. Ok, such a bug isn't the end of the world and can be fixed pretty fast I guess. That's why I did what most people would have done. I posted my issue in the XDA thread and also in the G Plus community. And do you wanna know what? After a week the amount of answers I've gotten was exactly zero. What I personally would call this, and please excuse my language, but that sort of support is shit. I am only speaking of my experience, maybe yours or others is way better or will be better, but that's a fact and what I personally think of it. What's the point in offering an XDA thread and the community if the actual support is non-existing? But as I said, that has not direct effect on the ROM itself. If it's running fine on your device, you can definitely enjoy a smooth and pleasurable experience. But in my case, I would take it with a grain of salt and I would think twice about counting on a long term and good support. But let's not read too much into the support and let's focus on another very big plus point of this ROM, the performance. It was without a doubt the best out of the box performing ROM of all I've tested so far on my Nexus 7 2012. I don't even really see any big advantage in using a custom ROM kernel if you aren't maybe specifically looking for overclocking or undervolting. The performance was as good as it can possibly get on a Nexus 7 2012. Sometimes I was even doubting I really used the Tegra 3 inside here. I wasn't really used to such a lag free and great performance. And how to look things on a Nexus 7 2013? Not worse for sure. It couldn't make quite the big impact here. It wasn't that far ahead in performance to the competition like on the Nexus 7 2012, but it could easily hold up its place with the very best on top. It also didn't disappoint on both devices in terms of battery life, even if it couldn't deliver anything better than most others. Still overall among the best you can get performance and battery wise on both Nexus 7. To close things up and make a conclusion, with Vanir you get a ROM offering most of the really popular features, only missing out on a few AOKP specific ones. Therefore it makes up for it in some way with absolutely more than impressive performance that knows to convince. So everyone who likes Slimbean should love Vanir. But I'm always trying to be completely honest with you and that's why I want you to keep the in my opinion bad support in mind. Personally this non-existent support, at least in my case, is a total no-go. Sorry to say this, but that's just like it is. That's maybe the main reason for me recommending to stick with a bit more reliable ROMs like the one it seems to be kind of based off on after all. 
I just wouldn't be comfortable to recommend a ROM I'm not completely convinced of offering you the best that's out there without you telling. And what's my personal subjective opinion of this ROM? It's a pretty nice and especially fast ROM for sure, but myself being a fan of AKP features, it's not really the one I would prefer and I would rather stick with ROMs being closer to AKP, like AKP itself, Carbon or Revolt. Be sure to check out my reviews of those to learn more about them if you didn't watch them already. That's it for my Vanier custom ROM review. If you liked it, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, reshare this video and subscribe my channel. Bye.